You mentioned in a recent video that you outsource a lot of low value tasks. Is that something you started doing more, the more successful you became or something you implemented early on? Yeah, so great question. As far as when to implement it goes, it's just a, it's a matter of like, first off, just realizing, I remember a long time ago, I listened to an audiobook and I forget who it was, might've been Brian Tracy or something, but he mentioned how like, determine how much money you want to be make determine how much money you want to be worth per hour. And let's see, just use an example. Like let's say you, you want to be worth a hundred dollars per hour. He's like, well, any other, t any tasks that you can delegate for like less than hundred bucks an hour, do it. There's no sense. Like if you can pay someone $20 an hour to do something, do it. There's no sense in you doing something for 20 bucks an hour when you can just pay someone 20 bucks an hour and then go make a hundred dollars an hour. So at the time that sounded really cool and it made sense, but I couldn't afford to pay someone 20 bucks an hour to do stuff because I didn't have any money. So I had to do everything. And as I was doing these tasks, like even like video editing, I was like, this is not necessary. Any really repetitive task is not necessary for me to do as an entrepreneur, as a CEO of a company, as someone who wants to grow a business. It's just not necessary. If a task can be repeated, I can, I can figure out how to do it well and then delegate it to somebody, to somebody else. Even if it's something that requires a lot of like creativity, like, like taking phone calls and doing like sales on the phone, that can even be delegated to people who want to make really good commission. And people who take phone calls at my company, they make good money. They can be making like 10 grand a month. So it's not that I I've just delegate low value tasks. I delegate tasks that can be repeated over and over and over again. Because me as the me as the CEO, I need I want to be doing tasks that are not. I mean, I do enjoy doing the same task over and over and over again. That's fun too. You can get into a zone. You can get really good at it, like like swimming or running or biking, or whatever. But as a CEO, I'm, I need to be doing like different things and overseeing a lot of different things and and constantly reaching to the future and 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 getting better at what we're going to be doing rather than just purely optimizing the same task over and over and over again. Those tasks can be can be delegated. So um, I, I do delegate stuff like uh, grocery shopping. I don't grocery shop. Dishes. I don't do dishes. Uh, opening Amazon packages in the mail. I don't open those. Uh, laundry, house cleaning, like all that stuff. If I had a lawn to mow, I'd delegate that too. Like I wouldn't do anything that somebody else can do. Just completely delegate it. But again, it's easy for me to do now because I have the money. But I always had that in my head that I was going to do that as soon as I could. So the very first person I hired was an assistant to do my email, check my email. I do not check email. Not that it's low value. Checking email is valuable, but I don't need to be the one doing it. I don't need to be the one to be distracted by my email. So those are some of the things I delegate.